Hello folks. Today in this video I wanted to go over how you can create a uh, table of data and as you choose different drop downs of your column A or your header row 2 the conditional formatting will format the columns and rows that you choose and then at the intersection give you a different color. So let's see an example of this. If I switched here to, you know, my Centene Corporation, um, notice that uh, row six gets highlighted. If I go to plan C, column D gets highlighted and where the two columns and rows intersect, we um, format it a different color. One more example, let's move down to this one and you can see how that works. So let's see how you build something like this. Let's start with a clean sheet and uh, we'll copy some data over there to see how this works. So first of all, let me come back here and grab this data. I wanna actually select something different, I think. I actually think we wanna select all of this. There we go, I'm gonna copy that and come over here and in this uh, row and column, I'm going to do a command shift V, which is only going to paste the values only. So that uh, didn't paste any of the formatting. Now let's see um, let's see how we get started building out this. So first of all, one of the first things I would want to do is click in cell A1, do a data validation, and the range that I'm going to want to uh, work with is this range here, we're going to want to select all of those companies and save that. And that's going to be our drop down list of companies. And then in column B, I want to do the same thing and do a data validation. And in this case, I'm going to want to select our plans and say OK to that. Save it, and now I have a way to change my selection. And we could do a little bit of cleanup here, uh, do something like that. We can do some formatting in a moment. So the first step, have my conditional format rule is I'm going to want to select this range of data here. I want to select this range of data this is where I'm going to want to apply the conditional formatting. And my first rule is going to be a custom formula. And I'm going to say where this is equals. And in this case, I need to lock the row, so row, uh, column. So I'm going to do dollar $A and 3 is equal to dollar A1. Say done. And that rule formats the whole row that's selected. If I switch to a different row, I've selected the row with that particular format rule. Now the next step is to format the column that's chosen. And in order to do that, we need to add another rule and again, hold on, let's see, well, we're gonna apply this to B3 to F27. So let's, uh, let me change my range, colon F27. Again, this is gonna be a custom format. And this is gonna be equal to, in this case, it's gonna be B$2, because we wanna lock it to that, um, we wanna only be on that row, so we're locking the row. And then that's gonna be equal to dollar B, dollar one. And 
we we could change this and leave it or leave it in this uh, in this color so with those two rules rules we have a way of highlighting the rows and the columns that are selected in this top line i think what we'll do is um go go ahead and get rid of some extra columns here go ahead and delete those and in this case we don't need any of these extra rows so i command shift down arrow and then i can right click and delete those rows and now my my data is sort of the way I want it. I might want to make this a little bit bigger and make it bold, maybe make it italic. And then we might do something with this header and maybe uh, make that uh, some kind of a color, bold and italic. And, and uh, maybe that's a little bit too dark. Let's do this one there. So now, the last step would be to write a rule that would show us this intersection here being a different color, sort of highlight where those two cross. So our next rule is going to be in this column. We will start here. We'll go Command Shift over, Command Shift down. That selects that range. And what we want to do here in this rule, we want to add another rule. And in this rule, what we want to do is use an AND statement. So the custom formula is going to be equals AND. And we're going to want this to be the first rule that we had. And A, $A2 is equal to $A dollar one and then the second rule is going to be b dollar two is equal to dollar b dollar one close that out that looks like a functional formula let's see what happens if we change this color maybe to something like this and Maybe in this case, we would change the, the text to white. So again, as we can see, if these are not in the correct order, and that was your last rule, that would not function. Also, let's take a, a quick look here. So if I click here, this is the rule that I see in that cell. If I click here, I see that rule. If I click here, I see that rule. But if I click here, I see all three rules, and that's based on the ranges to which they're applied. And in this case, we could do some changes, bold, italic, you know, choose your color, your font, and so forth. We could, uh, you know, do a strike through on that, whatever, however you decide you want to do that. Then finally, I might want to actually show what this number is, and, and we're going to do that with an index match. So we'll do an equals index. And the index function, the index function um, basically takes a look at this range. So what we would want to do, let's take a look at the, what it says. It's our reference. So this would be our range. I want to look at this range. And what I'd like to index is, in this case, starting here is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 2, column 2. So if I did comma 9, comma 2, I would get the 57694. But I want to be able, uh, if, if, if I changed this to plan C, of course, this didn't change. So I need to change my index and use a couple of match functions. This would be match. And what we're going to match is this. And we're going to match that with 
this range. We're going to look for a match in that range. And it's going to be an exact match. And that would close out our match. And then we want to make sure we're in the right column. So another match. And in this case, the match, the search key is going to be, I have to put this away, the search key in this case is going to be this, comma, and we're going to be looking in this range, B2 through F2, and again, it's an exact match. And you can see as that's finishing out, we can go ahead and color this, maybe do something like this. And you can see, as I choose a different plan, plan A, I get my $11. And if I switch my Kaiser, and so forth. So this can be a very handy way to um, take a look at a column and row, a, a data set, and be able to highlight what you're looking for, and also use index match to pull back that numeric value that you see there, but see it highlighted in the table.